Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Undisciplined Mind podcast for Wednesday, January 6, 2016. Happy Epiphany! If uh, you leave your Christmas decorations up until Epiphany, like we do, uh, then uh, you'll be able to start taking them down after today. I probably won't do too much until... Oh, I'll plug them all, but I won't do too much until... Um, the weekend, maybe a little bit of Friday night. Just because I've got class tomorrow night. So that kind of limits what I'll be able to do. It's the first of my management class. So we'll see how that's going. I've already started reading for the law class and started going through some of the online lectures. Did a little bit of that last night. Uh, I'll probably do a little bit more tonight. So, yeah, that's progressing forward. You know, one of the things that's that's uh, I'm happy I seem to be avoiding, and I don't know if that's because I'm looking forward to my goals for this year that I talked about yesterday, but a lot of times I'll come out of the Christmas holidays and I'll kind of have these doldrums, and it's just like, oh, I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to get back into the groove of, of work, and I don't want to get back into the groove of school, and, and all this, and... I just have a hard time getting going for for a week or so. Um, and I seem to be avoiding that this year, which is which is nice. Uh, I've already I've already you know as I mentioned I've already kind of gotten going on my classes and yeah you know, work so far has been okay. Um, for the new year, but, uh, yeah, so, I, I am kind of happy that I am avoiding that, that, it's not really depression, it's not really a funk, it's more like just, you know, a motivational thing, ah, oh, I gotta get moving, ah, oh, I gotta, you know, do this, I gotta listen to this, I gotta read this, and I just don't feel like doing much of anything, and, uh, and, uh, so, yeah, I seem to be, I seem to be raring to go. I'm sure part of that with the schoolwork is just kind of like the, you know, this is the penultimate semester. Let's get her done. Get her done. Uh, what else? Well, I have been catching up. I got a little bit behind over the Christmas holidays. I've been catching up on the Wookie Rookie podcast. And... You know, something that they were talking about on there dovetailed very neatly with an article I I was reading. So I was reading an article about The Force Awakens. Uh, I guess possible spoilers here if you haven't seen Force Awakens. You've been warned. Or probable spoilers, maybe I should say. But this, this article was comparing that or, or we're saying that basically Force Awakens was maybe the worst of all of the Star Wars films, including the prequels, because it doesn't tell us anything new. It's kind of the same story from A New Hope, just rehash. And I think they're correct about the story. You know, obviously we've got something fairly similar going on. There's a lot of... There there are a lot of parallels uh, between Force Awakens and A New Hope. You know, it starts off with... with um, You know, somebody that's that's on a desert planet that isn't necessarily happy with their circumstances. And then they get thrust into the greater world by the course of events. You've got, 
you know, Leia is working with a resistance. You've got an empire of, of one kind or another going on. Uh, what else? You've also got, and, you know, spoilers, 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 you know, the old man of the, uh, uh, of the movie gets killed by a Sith in both movies. That is rather, uh, shocking and sad. Uh, what else? I mean, so, so, so there are a lot of parallels, and I recognize that myself right off. But then listening to the Wookie Rookie podcast, you know, uh, of the three of the three people that are on this podcast, only one of them saw any of the Star Wars films, the original three, in the theater. And that's Mick. The other two were too young. And so... You know, Katarina started with she'd seen some of the prequels because she wasn't necessarily going to go back and watch. You know, when she was a kid, she wasn't necessarily going to you know of a mind to go back and watch a, a twenty-year-old film or you know, however many years old it was at that time. She said, uh, and that struck me as as. Maybe kind of important in understanding the intent of The Force Awakens. Yes, The Force Awakens is a movie for all those fans who are already out here that have watched all, all of the other movies. But it's also a good gateway movie for the younger generations that maybe haven't seen Star Wars. Although, in my opinion, you know, good parents introduce their kids to Star Wars. I certainly did my daughter. That was the, probably the one thing I did right as a parent, is I got her hooked on Star Wars. So, yeah, you, you just can't, you just can't really win if you're Disney. I mean, you got, you got, you got Lucas carping that you know, it's not a good movie because it's not his ideas. Um, in which case, we say... I, it was somebody, I think it was like an, uh, a little drawing somebody was selling on Etsy, but it, it popped up on Facebook or Google+. Plus. It was basically a little character caricature of George standing there with a, a wheelbarrow with a huge money bag in it. And, and he's saying, you know, he's basically, he's kind of, you know, the, the way I read it, it kind of sounded like um, the guy from, the guy from Office Space who's always mumbling and talking about a stapler. But, you know, George is saying something like, like, well, it's not a good movie because I gave them my ideas, but they're not using my ideas. But they, they didn't use my ideas, so it's not a, it's not a good it's not a good movie because, you know, uh, they had all my ideas, but they chose not to use my ideas and blah, 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 And, you know, the, 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 the subtext there, the unspoken, unwritten subtext was, shut up, George. You, you know, you got your four billion or whatever the frack it was. And just go count your money. Go away. You sold it. And, and so that's, and, and, and so that's funny, but, uh, you know, but it's also... If you think about it, you know, Star Wars was in 77, so that's going to be what? In, in next year? No. 40 years next year, I guess? Am I doing that math right? I'm doing that math right. All right. My initial math said it was going to be 50. I thought, wait a minute. That's not possible. I'm only 52. I did not see it at two years old. You know, so... Being that the movie is, is almost 40 years old, is it wrong to make a new movie that replays a lot of the same themes and plot points? <clears throat> and yet keeping it fresh enough that those of us that are, you know, fans of the old movie would still enjoy it? Not at all. I don't think so. Uh, I think they did a really good job. So, um, 
So yeah, I think these naysayers can shut their pie holes. As far as I'm concerned. Uh, but I guess that's really all I feel like talking about today. Just kind of the juxtaposition of media that happened in my brain around the topic of Star Wars. Oh yeah. Anyway, I will let that be that for today, and I will be back tomorrow to talk to you then. So, be seeing you.